Peace, everyone. It's Black Eyed Priestess. So I'm back to just finish the upload. Um, so the importance of going out alone. Um, this is continuation of some tips for 2024. Um, you know, when it comes to attracting a mate, one one thing a lot of times you'll see, especially if you're in like a metropolitan area, um, you know, major city. But I think in general is you're always going to see a bunch of single black women, usually overweight, alone, single, in, in a group. And you're going to see, despite what statistics say, that only 8 or 13% of black men are interracial dating. When you go out um, in public and find dining and entertainment, you're going to see well over 60%, I would say, of black men with white women married or dating you know if they're if they're a little younger but a lot of times married um so when 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 you go out and and again um please don't please don't act like you don't you all don't see this when you go out you're gonna see mo uh, groups of darker skin overweight black women beautiful natural hair weave wearing ugly attractive whatever it's gonna be two or more dark-skinned black women who are always single and this is going to be you know late late 20s up to 60 in 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 ages 60s single black women single because they're black and you're gonna see well over 60 percent of black men fine ugly tall short you know rich or or, you know, well, white women would never marry a poor black man, you know, unless it was like a publicity stunt. So, um, you know, or if she was paying him for, for dick, you know, you know, you end up like Cardi B, you know, pay, paying for a dusty nigga just because you need black dick that bad. You know, a lot of white women, they need black dick that bad that they'll buy, they'll buy him because that's what they, they, he's a slave. He's a sex slave. And this is something I've warned, I've been warning sisters and Americans of that you're going to see 60, well over 60% of black women single because well over 60% of black men are married to white women. And so the importance of going on alone sisters is you don't have all this other competition for eligible black men around you. You're, you're there, you're single. And that way it helps you know that if you're not being approached, you're not going to have your time wasted because if a man is not approaching you, something's wrong with him. Either he's already married, he has kids, or he's gay, or something is just wrong with him. And that helps you save time when you're dating. So if you go out alone, that gives you an opportunity to see what type of men are approaching you. And it gives you a good opportunity to gauge where you really stand in the dating pool. Because a lot of you sisters don't have a realistic idea of what you're competing with. And, and again, realistically, black women, you're the least likely to get married if you stay in America, which is, you know, stop dating in America. Stop dating Americans. Go learn to travel to places, to countries, not all this touristy stuff. Figure out how to make connections to, to foreigners where you can travel outside of tourist regions and actually find places that revere and, and frankly worship black.